What's up, guys? I hope everybody's enjoying their winter. If you're anything like me, you are dying to get back on the water for the 2020 season, boating season. And uh, yeah, I just want to put out a video um, since I've done kind of the review of the Moomba Max last year and I did the Axis A22. Um, I see it brought up quite a bit. Still, people want to know, um, you know, which, which boat should they buy or whatever. This video is not going to really be about which you should buy, just kind of my uh, thoughts on both boats since I've demoed both and now that I've had the Moomo Max um, you know since all of last bo boating season so um, just want to kind of get it out there that uh, kind of compare my thoughts between the two boats kind of what I like and what I don't like um, and why I kind of selected obviously the Moomo Max over the Axis A22 um, one thing I will say is when you're buying new boats like this, dealers are very, very important to, the, uh, to factor in on the selection of buying a boat like this. Um, there's going to come time when you're going to need to bring it to them for service or maybe there's a recall or maybe there's an issue with your boat, a minor issue, a major issue. And when you choose a dealer um, that will go to bat for you, and kind of cater to you that you spent money with them um, that's going to go a long ways and you want to make sure that you're getting you know uh, the best service for your dollar right because you are the one who's spending all this money and whether it doesn't matter if it's a budget boat or a high-end boat or whatever you know the service is service and you want to be treated um, you know with respect and kind of um, you know put in importance if you will especially if you're out on the water you want to make sure you have a dealer that you know will go to you know will go and do whatever it takes to kind of uh, appease their customers and service their customers whenever they need them most and that's usually when you uh well when you're trying to do something on the weekend right so dealer selection is critical i highly uh, advise anybody shopping for these boats to go and learn your dealer or your dealers in your area no matter what brand and um you know go several times talk to them learn about them and you know just make sure you're picking a good dealer Okay, the interior layout, design, and the fit and quality of these two boats. Um, yes, these boats are what you would call budget or entry-level wake boats. Um, I will say that the differences between the two is pretty stark, to be honest with you. And I was kind of surprised, actually, when I took the demo. I wasn't expecting quite what I, what I, what I experienced. But I will say that as far as storage, I'll just get into the storage, the spaces between the two. The Moomba Max has a ton of storage, way more than the Axis. A lot more storage and that was actually one of the bigger bigger deciding factors for us why we went with the Moomba Max um, versus the Axis. Um, I will say yes the Axis as far as stock versus stock surf wave I'll go ahead and get it out there is better um, but we'll get to that later on. Getting back onto the interior the things I like about the Moomba Max is the layout you get a lot more visibility when you're driving this boat. The Axis has a huge blind spot because of the way the windshield design and a huge end coping on there. Um, Another thing about the Axis is uh, both these boats have plastic, okay? Um, there's different types of plastic. You know, if you're in like a Honda or an Acura and you touch plastic versus, say, the plastic of a Chevy or something like that, um, they just, even though they're both plastics, they feel different and you can tell the quality. So that's kind of how it is with an Axis versus a Moomba, in my opinion. The plastics feel better on a Moomba. There's far less plastic on an Axis, I mean on a Moomba, than there is on an Axis. On an Axis, the whole right panel all around the helm all the panels um they're all plastic and you can see right here you know if you're looking on the axis right now on the screen the same thing for the observer seat up above there i'll pause the video up above there you can kind of see that all that helm area above on the axis and the observers area is completely plastic there's a hole cut out there and that's a plastic kind of lid with glove box on the moomba max um it's all completely fiberglass, which you have a huge glove box in there with side access door from the side of the helm. But everything in there is fiberglass in. It's not plastic, uh, a cap, if you will. only part that's kind of a plastic cap on the Moomba Max is, um, you know, right uh, on the dash top, really. Uh, you also have some plastic that's along the side midship, um, uh, you know, lounge area, if you will, where all the cup holders are at the Moomba Max, it's stainless steel cup holders. With the Axis, you get plastic cup holders. Um, with the Axis, I pulled of those those big long panels um, right there. You can see with the drink and everything. I pulled on those panels, and that whole panel moved. I don't know if it's because it's so long or why, where it's attached or what, but the whole panel can move if you pull on it. Not that anybody really would, but it just it just moved. 
and on the Moomba, it felt a lot more secure. I don't know if it's just because it's shorter or what, or just how it's you know installed, made with the panels. Um, it just it just felt more secure. The fabric between the two, the Moomba to me felt a little bit better. Um, it does use the 2019 Moomba Max. Uh, now has what's you know the super material. This was the 2018 Moomba Max that I demoed. I couldn't tell a huge difference between the 2019 and 2018 material to be honest. Um, but they say it's better, so hey, it's better. The Axis, uh, it felt supple, you know, um, it didn't feel bad or anything. Uh, I will say that the freeboard is a lot smaller on the Axis, especially in the bow area. You know, if you've got kids or something like that, that may be something to really consider. That's one thing we really liked about the Momo Max is that it's got a lot of freeboard, both inside and obviously outside the boat. But inside, it feels really, really deep and secure for your kids and the wife and, and, and animals and stuff like that. Uh, but again, you know, it's just, um, there's just a ton more storage on the Moomba Max. I don't think there's any bow storage, or at least not all the way up in the front on the Axis with the Moomba. It's completely wrap around under all those cushions. Um, so it was just, you know, a lot more storage and and kind of, wi it felt wider also on the, uh, just more spacious on the Moomba Max. So um, cushions, seat driving, uh, I you know, they're kind of a toss up. The Axis kind of cur uh, hugs you more on the hips a little bit more. The Moomba is kind of a L shaped and um, kind of more of a casual lay. They, they both felt comfortable to me. Performance and handling, I'd say, is quite a bit different between the two boats as far as power delivery goes. Um, the Axis was definitely more quieter of the boat. Um, but it seemed to lack more, it didn't have, it didn't seem to have as much torque as the Raptor engine. I can't remember what the specs of which engine was in the Axis, but this was the Raptor 400. And, uh, you know, turning and everything, even though this Moomba Max was a big boat, it didn't feel, you know, it, it actually turned really good on, it felt like it was on rails. The Axis, I didn't really power through on stuff, um, you know, as much as they with, as, that I did with the Moomba. Um, it seemed a little bit more lackadaisical, a little more, I don't know if it's just the whole design, just seemed a little bit different, didn't bite in as much as when I turned in and everything, but again, didn't hammer down on them. Uh, I will say that rough water ride between the two is starkly different. The Moomba Max can, because of the deep freeboard on there, it can soak up a lot of waves and a lot of rough water, and it actually has a trim system, and whereas on the, um, on the Axis, you don't have any trim system whatsoever uh, at all. So when we got above wakeboarding speeds on the Axis, it actually got pretty, around like say 30 miles an hour, we were actually out in some chop in the main channel with some wind and uh, it, it was pretty rough. I've been in white cap conditions in my Moomba Max and you know, where I've actually had to add some ballast and uh, you know, just ride, put the trim all the way at 100% and it'll just eat through the chop no problem whatsoever. Very dry ride um, because of the wraparound windshield and the tall freeboard. It's a very dry, dry ride. On the Axis, like I said, we were going into some wind. And because of the way that the windshield is not a full wraparound windshield, I did get some spray from the side. Um, you know, so it's just, uh, it's just a different... I would definitely say you'll, you'll know when you demo these boats. I definitely suggest anybody demo all the boats that you're looking into. It doesn't matter what the brand. Don't just go and get the first brand that you go into. Demo all the boats. Um, but you'll, I, I personally prefer the power delivery of the, of the Raptor than, than what was in, I think it was a Monsoon. I don't know if it was a PCM. I don't know what it was in, but, uh, or what the GM power plant was that was in the Axis. It's 2017 model. Um, and when we, when we do the time to plane video here in just a second, you're going to see that the power uh the torque between the two and i'm not sure prop specs and everything between these two boats but the torque is just night and day difference as far as time to plane so with that said let's get into the time to plane now this is 3,000 pounds on the moomo max full uh hard tanks and uh, optional plug and play and wedge down on the axis both 20 miles an hour and the moon has already done it. I had both these set to GPS control, speed, speed, speed control. Eight 
The Surf Wave. Yes, so like I said earlier, I'll go ahead and say that the uh, Axis A22 stop for stop puts out a better Surf Wave than the Mumu Max. Um, there are some caveats to that. With the Axis A22, the way this one was set up, it's a floating wedge. You know, the, the power wedge, the adjustable wedge, is a uh, an option on the axis. It's standard on Moomba, I mean on Malibu, I believe, but it's an option on axis. This boat did not have a power wedge, it had a floating wedge. So with the floating wedge, um, you know, it just kind of floats based off the speed of the, the speed that the boat's going, you know, it's a reverse hydrofoil design. With the surfgate system, it's also, you know, you just kind of set it and it just it just goes out. There's no increment of adjustment or anything like that and um, so what you get is what you get and you know if you want to fine-tune the wave any it's going to be either moving people around moving bags of lead things like that changing speed but that's really the, the shape of the wave is the shape of the wave and that's kind of what you get uh, unless you have a power wedge axis you know optioned axis uh, so that's kind of a, a down a negative in my opinion yes it makes a big nice wave but it's kind of it's all you get is is that wave shape there's no changing it um, I wanted to show both of these on the goofy side. Both of these boats require some cleanup, but with, again, coming back to the tunability, the Moomba Max has a trim system, uh, you know, tab system for surf system. And so with that, you can adjust those plates, you can adjust the center plate, you can clean up that face, whereas the axis, you're going to have to move people around to kind of clean up that face if you're surfing goofy. Um, as far as... Uh, ease of using the surf system axis would win again hands down like i said there's no adjustability so you kind of put surf left or surf right drop down your wedge and that's it you know you that's that's it that's all you do and as far as so to get you away right out of the box there you go you know it probably is not it's probably the easiest boat to get a nice wave right out of the box axis you know by far that being said um so on a trim tab system, it's going to take some time. It took me the better part of a season to learn my surf system on my boat. And uh, just now got the Wake Makers kit in the off season, so I'm going to kind of have to learn it, learn it again, learn my, my setup again. But now that I kind of know what the boat likes, it's not going to take as much time to set up and everything. Uh, with the Moomba, you get kind of a, you can make the wave have a lip. You can make it have a mound. You can make it be long, you can make it be short, all without really having to change too much of speed, all just changing your tab settings on there. Um, once you kind of get your surf tab settings, you kind of know what the boat likes and you just kind of adjust with your center tab to kind of clean it up. Um, you know, you have auto wake system, uh, which on my boat option with auto wake, I don't really use it because for, surf, for surfing, um, I still find that manual does better. Um, but auto wake is useful to learning what the pitch and the roll uh, attitude of your boat is without really turning on auto wake. You can kind of turn it on with, and kind of turn it off real quick just to kind of check. Or turn it on to check the settings, your, your roll and your pitch, and then turn it off real quick so that it doesn't start draining ballast to kind of get there. And the idea is you want to have maximum ballast, uh, but you also want to kind of achieve those roll and pitch numbers. And you can do that again with moving lead or people around or whatever or adjusting with the surf plates but just remember the more you adjust with the surf plates the more they kind of act as as lift you know if you will and kind of counter that balance the, the ballast that you've added onto the boat uh so it's it's kind of a delicate balance you have to learn it but once you do you can kind of really definitely change in the shape of the wave and and really get to understand kind of like it's really cool to sit there and watch changing the shape of the wave it doesn't maybe transpose as much on video um, but you can definitely change it from long to short to having a lip to having a mound. Uh, you know, the axis, I will say it's kind of cool. You've got a little remote. You can change it from side to side. Transition from side to side is about the same, I'd say. Um, but, yeah, axis makes a bigger wave stock versus the Moomba, uh, or at least the 2018. Now you can get a Moomba with 2,000 or 4,000 pounds of ballast uh, stock. So. Speaking of, this is what um, just adding a little bit of ballast to my boat does. This is a 750 pound bag added to my stock weigh or to my stock ballast. So 3,000 pounds plus 750 pounds. The 750 pound bag was in my midship locker. And you can see the wave is much better than, than stock and much taller and kind of looking more, a little bit more like the, the height of that axis weight. Remember, the axis sits lower in the water than a Moomba Max does anyway. So it's going to kind of look bigger than a Max would. Uh, the wakeboard way, uh, wake, I don't really do any wakeboarding, so I can't really comment on which is better or what's more rampier. 
again the axis doesn't have any adjustability so um, that's kind of, I don't know if it's a negative or positive for weight boarding the weight looked cool look great um, uh, both of them look very rampy with the Moomba you know obviously that center tab you can kind of adjust that you also get a launch system if you have auto wake um, so if you're weight boarding kind of have all three tabs come down and get your quicker launch not that you really need it because you can see earlier the time to plane is not really that bad at all on the, on the max all things considering um, but yeah, you can change the, the rampiness and everything with the Max. I don't really think you can do that with the floating wedge, so you have to have a power wedge on an A22 to be able to do that. But both boats can do it. You just have to option option how you, how you want them to do that. So. On the exterior design and final thoughts of the boats, uh, both, I like both of these boats. Obviously, I like them both because I demoed them both and everything. Uh, I just prefer the overall, after it was all said and done, driving them, factoring in how the, the ride quality, the attention, you know, the, the detail felt better, the, the quality felt better on the Moomba overall. I especially love the tower. I hated the tower on the Axis. You have to lay down these plates, and it kind of takes two people, and it's not counterbalanced. Um, with the Axis, it just didn't have enough freeboard for us to feel comfortable going out on these big lakes uh, with a lot of chop. And the Moomba Max, I'll show you some video right here. Where we go out and um, basically run into um, having some boats with a you know surf wave right there and going into some rollers and you know uh, the Moomba Max handled it perfectly you know went right over through the rollers had no water come in and um, these pretty big rollers I think it was a master cap or something going by but with the access you probably would have dipped the front bow right there took some water over the front and so. We just, between the storage and the freeboard and the overall layout and just all the storage options, and I think I storage it again, but that's just what the Max um, just excels at. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to 2020 season with the new Weightmakers kit. Uh, we've got a, I've got some more videos coming. We've got a storage unit, big 40-foot storage unit getting built um, right down from Lake Martin. Uh, so we won't have to trailer all the way from kind of the Birmingham area where I live all the way down to Lake Martin. So that's some cut out an hour and a half of trailering each way. So three hours of trailering I'm not having to do anymore. And um, that's going to be great. And uh, catch you guys uh, in 2020. Uh, some more videos in 2020. So I'll have the install of the Weightmakers kit, kind of a comparison of stock to Weightmakers. And yeah, it's going to be a great time. So see you guys then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, demo all the boats you're looking at and um, yeah get to know those dealers and um, yeah have fun shopping it's the best thing about it <laughs>